2026 is here and i would like to wish all my rasayanika subscribers a very happy new year 2026 and a very successful and bright new year ahead for all of you may this year bring in a lot of wealth health and happiness and prosperity to you and your family but it will only begin if we watch this video till end because today i'm here to give you a gift and that gift is all about goals new year has started so let's start new year with new goals new ways of doing things so that we can achieve our goals better faster much more efficiently as a rasaynikan i'm sure you ha- all have gone through a different ball game where you are trying to look for a job you don't get it or get rejected the entire motivation comes down then you watch one of my videos then again it comes up and then you again go and look for the job and then finally you get that job so the cycle will continue and repeat but one thing i want to make sure is no msc chemistry and bsc chemistry student out there remains untouched this is my new year resolution my career goal is to reach out to every chemistry professional and help them in their career through our channel rasayanika so today i would like to start the new year the first video of the new year by talking about career goals every msc fresher or msc professional must have now to start with remember guys once upon a time chemistry was a subject where there was no scope and growth but that has changed because pharma chemistry as well as tech bio and tech chemistry companies are coming into picture they are bringing in opportunities which were never existed in 2025 or before now what are those i'll be talking about them also on our channel but today since we are talking about career goals let's look at what exactly is needed for you for succeeding in the chemistry industry now to start with one perspective change i want from all of you you know whenever you study till date you always thought that when i'm studying i am paying and i'm studying right so the last 3 years of your career when you were you'll do msc or bsc you are not just paying to study but whatever you study is going to pay you back okay the last 3 years whatever you study before that okay pythagoras theorem won't help you bohr uh, model may not help you the periodic table remembering may not help you but whatever you studied in the last 2 to 3 years okay in the chemistry or bsc or msc chemistry that will translate into revenue for you that knowledge will transform into money that will feed your family if you start looking at your degree with that perspective you will be more serious about it you know i was from a poor family so that's how i looked at my degree and that helped okay so now coming to the fact that okay 2026 has started what are the career goals you should have now i'm not here to dictate you or say tell you do this or do that you choose whatever you want i am just giving you the option now let's begin with short term and long term career goals what happens with career goals is in the long term suppose you want to become a scientist so your short term career goal also should be aligned with that i i will tell you a story so uh, msc chemistry post graduate came to me said give me sales job i said why while i'm preparing for sales and i'll you know do the sales job once i have qualified i'll leave this job i said don't do that you want to go for a csir net then you do a wet lab job so that will help you in the csir net but if you do a sales job it's unrelated right whatever is related that kind of job you should be doing so you know this is a short term misalignment of the career goal because long term was phd for him right so build short term strong core technical skills which will get you the job the first job right it could be a research assistant it could be a research analyst it could be something in analytical chemistry like hplc gcl cms ftir nmr basics and then gain the hands on training you know the best way to gain hands on training without paying is get into some government project as a jrf or sr 8000 10000 rupees they'll pay that's okay but you're learning right you're learning new technical skills it's very very important while you're doing that of course industry is also very important so if you're getting into industry lower salary also fine but learn glp gmp and uh, safety and compliance otherwise you can always learn on rasayanika also not a problem now the second career goal you should have is gaining experience so first is getting started okay second is gaining experience how do you gain experience look at rasayanika a lot of uh, jobs are coming up and uh, by the way this year rasayanika is going to be completely ad free no ads so that you can uh, browse through the website it will be completely enjoyable for you and you will get more and more updated jobs and alerts so look at entry level jobs qc analyst jobs lab chemist jobs research assistant trainee scientist and we will be conducting these placement drives on rasayanika so you can 
participate in that you can get into internship in apprenticeship in pharma chemical or food and material industry and you know that commitment has to come that i want to convert whatever is i studied into money okay why industry skills so here is your uh, knowledge here is money and the bridges skill okay transform your knowledge into a skill which will get you money that's very very important and role based jobs you have to look at like qc analyst they don't teach you in college but qc analyst is a job so what are the skills required that you can take on the sinica and do it global regulatory affairs now that is one thing you can learn analytical chemistry there is one thing you can learn data analysis for analytical chemistry that's one thing you can learn these are the things which you have to do to gain experience and of course you can gain experience and get experience letter from the sinica also if you take uh, our uh, project next thing would be learning digital tools very important when we were uh, in biotech or pharma or chemistry when i passed out that time wet lab was only thing right computers were only supposed to be for it fast forward today what's happening we are looking at not just chem draw or excel or statistics you have chem informatics you have ai in chemistry you have ai in drug discovery you have ai in uh, organic chemical synthesis you have ai in structural activity relationship you have ai in drug repurposing you have ai in screening lot of things right pick one learn the digital skills learn the digital chemistry tools how the molecules are docking vena auto dock all that you have to learn now that's the beginning now if you are in the mid career okay so mid term career goals specialize specialization is very important and learning new things is very important and you have to choose the branch which you want to go okay so analytical chemistry is one so if you're good in you know analytical chemistry go there if you're good in organic chemistry you can go in that side and medicinal chemistry a lot of money a drug development a lot of money then you have uh, formulation and qqc a lot of jobs are there but you know formulation is like factory work qqc is good then you can get into materials research a lot of uh, semiconductors a lot of those solar cells are being done there then you have polymers nanochemistry uh, ai in ml in chemistry all of that now the mindset should be changing from you know i need to know everything to one strong super specialization okay that is a mid term career goal you should have if you are already a trainee your career goal should be transforming into an independent professional start talking to your pi saying that okay give me more leadership opportunities i'll handle projects independently i'll write the sop i'll do the validation report i'll do the technical documentation i'll mentor the junior so when you start taking that responsibility that is where you become manager so a lab manager or a product manager so you need to get into the managerial role if you are a trainee already so start you know practicing leadership skills now i'm not saying that whatever we are discussing right now it will happen in the one year right but somewhere we have to get started you know you have to start at a to reach z right remember a b c d how we learned we started at a to reach z right same way you have to start somewhere and 2026 should be that year one big mistake people do they start looking at uh you know okay degree one more degree one more degree how long you want to do degree stop it bsc tried for a job didn't get okay max msc more than that not required okay do phd only if you have curiosity if you want to delay your uh, salaries and if uh, you want to you know long term goal like become a scientist or something but phd is super specialization which leads to those kind of jobs may not be there right you may end up as a assistant professor so keep all of that in mind the pitfalls the pros and cons if you don't have the bandwidth and uh, you can't wait for so, for so long go for a job right so don't buy degree after degree instead learn skill after skill after skill and then you see the compounding effect right you know what is compounding effect you do one thing today tomorrow when you do it is not x it is 2x okay so this is how you grow so r&d roles in mnc companies will be open for you as a, um, in, in global cros you can do you can go in the regulatory side you can uh, do phd you can go for a senior scientist role you know your mindset now has to change from i want to create an impact i want to be the authority i want to be the guy who people go to right so that's where and then future proof your career we we'll see automation is going to be the next big revolution in chemistry okay i can give you in writing and i can bet on this industry moves towards efficiency industry moves towards profit industry wants more money so industry will move towards automation now you will not be replaced by ai you will be replaced by someone who is using ai so learn ai right and you can learn ai ml in drug discovery in chemistry right here on rasaynika's platform a small investment in your head today will take you to greater heights now why i am saying so because 
20 years ago i did that investment on my brain i learned coding i learned ai of course recently cabin informatics bioinformatics molecular doc- docking all of that that's paying off so as a chemistry graduate or post graduate your goal should be to you know bridge the gap between degree and money and the gap gap is skill set and grow into a independent scientist this year this year don't say i want a job say i have skills now i'll get the job a positive thinking takes you a long way and of course keep watching the science cast video because we are not here to tell you what are, what should be your career goal we are here to walk the path with you we, we are here to hold your hand and walk along we'll not pull you or push you we'll walk along we'll help you and that is why this channel exists we have seen how many people succeeded and at the same time we have seen in our career how many people failed and we know both sides we know how to fail and what not to do to fail and we know what to do to succeed and these videos which we post on the sainika are going to help you just yesterday i got a email from one of our subscriber and he said um, i'm super blessed because i repeated from like the sainika is doing this for uh, for him and i said uh, his name is vigyan actually by the way so i said vigyan it's all because people like you trust us believe in us so thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for believing in us and we believe in you let's come together to win the world of chemistry comment below what more you want what videos you want what kind of uh, hurdles you have and i'll make a special video to help you thank you so much for watching this video see you soon in the next one till then keep shining and happy new year 2026